Oh, darling, how was your day? I have tried to call you for the last hour, but you never answered. And so I thought you had turned off your phone while on your way back home from school. I've spent all day long cooking for tomorrow. Hey, little brother, is there something wrong? You seem very tired. Oh, you lost the last train back home? How is it, though? Isn't your school pretty close to the train station? So your teacher asked you to do the work of one of your classmates that left before the due time? Without saying anything? And you forgot to charge your phone last night because mine was blocked? But, honey, you know that you can charge yours, especially at night. You are the one leaving for school while the sun still has to rise. What? Uh, no, 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 no. Not this time. Especially this time. to be the day when mom and dad get back from their work vacation and I can't stand you being like this even if it's still the day before now the soup is almost ready what does it mean? well it means Cuddle time, of course. <laughs> Here, follow me to the couch and... No, you're not going to sit on the couch. <sighs> mm, okay. You have a pillow with your very own name on it. Come on. I know how you like my thick thighs and my big squishy chest. Of course. <laughs> how did I feel, little brother? Soft, squishy, and with no socks between you and them? They smell nice, you say. Well, I've used that new shampoo you got me from your last trip to Paris with mom and dad. Yes, the one with mint and sucker of petals. Now that you are all comfy on my lap, let's start with the first phase of the cuddle time operation. <laughs> mm. You have been neglecting your hairs lately, little brother. Um, why do I ask? Well, your hair is full of nodes and... Oh, little brother, are you nuzzling into my chest? No, no, don't worry, I like it means a lot to me. It means that you feel as safe with me as I feel with you. So, may you look up? Why? 
I just wanted to look at your beautiful eyes. Hi. <laughs> you are everything that I will ever need, little brother. Don't forget it. Now? Oh. Mm, the soup. <sighs> Little brother, I hate to ask you, but may you lift your head? <sighs> Thanks. Oh, feel free to join me in the dining room. No. I won't ask you to set the table, I promise. It's already all set. No need for my super duper lovely Toby little brother to do a thing. Oh, come on. I know that it was cheesy, but still, you are tired and deserve to rest. Well, you want to help with dinner? Oh, you want to help because you want to make mom and dad proud tomorrow? <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. big sis loves you so much. <laughs> Here, let me give you a kiss on your cute little forehead. <laughs> you want more? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later then. <laughs> oh, it was really good. Everything cooked by me is always going to be good. Oh, sweetie, you are always so sweet. Here, let me give you your second forehead kiss. <laughs> You are so kissable. I can't stop. <laughs> hmm. What makes this loves you? And little brother, all the food for tomorrow is ready and in the fridge, so... Wouldn't you like to go to bed early? You need to rest and more than ever... Don't think that I have forgotten about the Operation Cuddle Time. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, let's go to the bedroom. I can't take it anymore. I just want to spoon you. Really? What? Of course, I'm going to be the big spoon. I want... Uh, no, I need to have you as my little spoon. I want to cuddle with you. Like if you were my own baby. I want to protect and care for you. That's the affection I prove towards you, little brother. <laughs> Here, another kiss. <laughs> I'm happy that you like it. Um, little brother, why, why are you moving so much? You know that I don't mind if you want more of the sheet. Or, are you, why are you crying? Did I hit you in my big chest by mistake? You are crying. Here, let me take you.
your hand. Mrs. Kana is here to protect you. It's safe here. Can you hear me? <sighs> here. Don't cry. You don't deserve to. Here. My chest is all yours. Still no response, huh? It's okay. Just know that I'm here and you are safe. I'll be sure of it. I'm sure of it, little brother. Now more than ever before. Forever and ever. Oh, hi. <sighs> yes. You are on my lap, little one. And it's okay. No need to be sorry for this. There is nothing you have to be sorry for. There, there. Just calm down. Good. It's only the two of us. Yes. <laughs> it's me. Of course, you can hug me. Here. <sighs> See? me, your big sis. Of course I am. I will never lie to you, my sweetheart. I once swore to take care of you while mom and dad are away. To protect you. To treasure you. We both faced a lot of difficult choices during our life. Too many hard choices. Too many hard choices for someone who has never shown even the slightest demonstration of love, affection, attention. But it's okay, little brother. You were not the only one. You have me, your big sister, here with you. It's only fair for me to make you feel loved. I can sense how scared you are, but it's okay. I'm here with you. That's right. Hug me as tight as you want. I know how sweet you are. I know you will never hurt me, sweetheart. You will never feel as bad as during those days. I'll be sure that you will never feel bad at all for your whole life till the end of it. Here, lay your head on my chest. And nuzzle into me. You know that I will never leave you, right? For now, just breathe. Take your time. There is no rush. I hope that you
you will feel safe as much as I feel when I am near you. Dream of friendship. Of our future. And you can dream of me, little brother. You want me to hug you even tighter? Of course, let me embrace you. Mm. Big sister is always here to make you feel safe whenever you are in need of it. No need to rush. Lay on me. Use me as your pillow. Now, let's try to sleep, okay? Relax. Relax, my sweetheart. And good night. Sleep tight. I will always be here for you. <laughs>